So what do we got going on this Friday? We got a class with Brittany May. Hey yo. Here. And so um, I have everything we need. That's my take up, there's my wall. So I chose to infinity, John. Love it. YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we have something a little different for you guys. We are going to be reviewing the Point Firearms Instruction Starting Point Handgun Course taught by Brittany May here in Las Vegas. So for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, uh, you might remember when Guy, John, and I took a course from Brittany May about a year ago using handheld lights, uh, and then another course training with rifles. You might also remember from previous vlogs that we used to have company outings, hockey games, dinners, parties, etc. cetera. Uh, but with all of the COVID restrictions and craziness, we haven't really been able to get out as a group to do anything fun. So I figured let's read out, uh, reach out to Brittany and see if she has any upcoming classes. I checked her website out and it turned out that she had a beginner handgun class coming up, so I reached out to see if we could attend the class and maybe film a review. Uh, she was stoked on the idea and said, come on down. Uh, now, full disclosure here, guys, Brittany is a friend. Uh, she offered to actually let us take the class free of charge since we were putting a video together. However, I also want to support her as a small business owner. So we agreed on us taking the class at a discounted group rate for eight people. Um, we appreciate her generosity and we all had a great time. Thank you, Brittany, much appreciated. So as you guys heard a couple of times now, the class was titled Starting Point Handgun, um, which was perfect as I had Matt and Aaron who recently joined the QBO team and are fairly new to shooting. So nine of us, including myself, we all signed up for her class and we attended last week. Um, I figured a fun range day with the crew and someone else instructing other than myself would be a good team building experience for the guys. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the range and class footage. Um, last week, the guys and I headed out to the Clark County Shooting Complex located on the far north side of town. Um, it's about a 20 minute drive from my house and for us that live here in Vegas, that's far. Uh, for those of you who get out and take classes on a regular basis, you probably agree that most classes start out with a briefing, which this one did. Um, you know, a time to address concerns, questions, discuss the importance of safety. Uh, Brittany does this, but with the added details of an evacuation plan to the nearest hospital in case of an emergency or an accident. Um, um, what to do on the range in regards to the cease fire commands um, and the layout of the facility like something as simple as just like where the bathrooms are getting over to the layout of the land um, I think it's important to cover anything that a student might ask in the beginning of the class that we don't have to stop and address it later on less time talking always means more time doing the hands-on stuff which is what I think most people enjoy in the class after the safety brief, Brittany takes the time to break down the class structure and her background. Um, she's been instructing for the last 10 years. Her background consists of time spent with the Department of Energy as a supervisor and firearms instructor, personal protection details, and adjunct instruction for companies like Progressive Force Concepts. She definitely has the credentials to put on a great class. But what's more important for me as a student is how well the instructor can relate the material to her class or to their class. Um, Brittany does this well, and you will see what I mean as we get further into this video. Now in this video, I wanna cover some of the highlights from the class. Um, I don't wanna break down every single minute of the class as I think you should probably take the course for that. However, there were a few takeaways for me that I definitely wanna share. I also focused a lot of our content on Matt and Aaron as they are the new shooters and this was their first class ever. Um, the starting point handgun course is catered to beginners but is also a nice refresher if you've been shooting for a while. Okay, so after the initial briefing, Brittany talks about how to position yourself on the range in a safe way to manipulate your firearm uh, and your gear without muzzling others on the line. Um, she does this by using a technique which she calls toes to infinity. Here and I look at my toes to infinity, I can see, okay, there is absolutely nothing in front of me. This is a super safe direction. So at that point, I can bring my gun out, I can handle it, check the condition of it make sure I know what's going on with this. I'm still in a safe direction. I'm not muzzling anybody, okay? And that's the beauty of being on, on the range. If, um, if there was a lot going on, you could use that side berm and stuff like that. But for this class, you're typically going to have from the red line forward, 
is going to be toes to infinity. But like Roger, if you stay right there, for example, um, you know, I could go, okay, toes to infinity, even though Roger's right there, I'm, I'm still not muzzling him at all. <clears throat> I'm just staying in a safe direction. But again, for this course, you're not going to need to worry about that too much. There's not going to be a lot of people moving around. So again, just focus on that uh, red line and then always just check toes to infinity. Okay. Google. Next, she goes into how to properly unload your firearm. Um, these are things that I think are often overlooked by others in regards to training new people. I know as an instructor, I've been guilty of assuming that all of my students already know this stuff. Come to find out that a quick rundown of the proper way was definitely needed uh, in some of the courses that I put on. So there's a technique to this, and I'm a big believer that no technique is not a technique. So if you don't have a way of doing something and you're just kind of relying on the fact that you're gonna possibly figure it out on the fly, that's wrong. So always have a technique for everything you do. We had about 12 people in the class total with Brittany instructing and two additional ROs. Um, I like classes of this size because it allows everyone on the range to get some individualized attention. Everybody is different and in regards to proficiency, so it's nice to have an instructor cater to your specific needs. Brittany limits her class sizes so that this can happen in each of her courses. Now with the beginner course, I like that she uses terms like muzzle conscious. Um, this is something that I feel newer students can often have a hard time learning. Brittany makes sure to emphasize this throughout the class so that it begins to ingrain in each student's mindset when handling a firearm. Go ahead and give me a good presentation. Go ahead and present it out of the holster. Bring it out. Perfect. And now go ahead and drop your magazine. Set your mag on the table. And then muzzle conscious. And then go ahead and lock your slide to the rear. Just like I showed you. I'm going to come on this side of you. So thumbs where you need it to be, right? Bring that gun into your workspace. Good. Clamp grip. And then punch forward and push up. Beautiful. Done. Absolutely fantastic. Great. And then send it forward and you can do that that one of two ways. Beautiful. Do that like ten more times. Okay. okay? Yeah. Another technique I think that is often overlooked is properly loading the firearm. Uh, this too is covered in the class in depth and in a way that provides the student with different methods that they can choose from. Um, from there, every student performs the drill and is given the opportunity to have Brittany observe uh, and walk them through to ensure proper technique is used. Now I've been training in firearms for the last 18 years and instructing in the last 10 of those years. Uh, I know some of you out there are wondering why I just don't train the guys myself. Well, I do. However, I also promote the idea of getting out and getting training from as many people as you can. Uh, the instructor that I've become is a little bit of all the instructors that came before me uh, and those that I still learn from today, Brittany included. Um, this is something that Brittany is also transparent about and I think is definitely uh, showing her good character when she shares this information. Um, what she provides is what she has learned along her journey as a shooter and an instructor. Last, you know, 15, 17 years that I've been doing things like this, and um, I've kind of taken from everybody I've been exposed to, and I'm passing it on to you guys. You can kind of come in if you would like. Come on in. Um, the the things that I feel are most functional and have allowed me to kind of grasp the concept efficiently. All right. So again, a, a big friendly reminder that. Everything I teach is from a gunfighting mindset, all right? I'm, I'm not teaching you how to competition shoot. I'm not teaching you how to um, just, you know, click around or whatever. Thing. Everything comes from that mindset, okay? So just understand that, and that includes my fundamentals. From there, she moves into the fundamentals. Um, she breaks them down into two categories, and then from there breaks down into individual fundamentals like trigger manipulation, sight picture alignment, uh, and follow through. Um, now to take it even a step further, she demos everything. I think demonstrations are something every instructor should perform in a class. I do get a little weary if I'm at a course and an instructor isn't demoing um, a technique or a method that they're uh, instructing or, teach or teaching. Front sight, front sight, front sight, front sight, front sight. Make sense? And then the next few reps, you can speed it up a little bit. But you're ringing that doorbell, but use those eyes. Target, front sight, front sight, front sight, front sight. Okay, sound good? Sweet. After demonstrating, she then goes down the line and works with each student to address their individual needs and their concerns. Um, for $150, guys, I honestly think you are getting way more for your money in this five hour course. As everyone started to get more comfortable with trigger reset, Brittany has a unison drill that she performs that I thought was really cool. Um, I'll actually probably start implementing it in the classes that I teach. Uh, it helps hone in on the proper technique of trigger reset and makes it a group activity with instant feedback for everyone. Stand by. Up. Okay, not bad. Are we back at the wall? Get to the wall. Stand by. Up. Woo! 
Stand by. Up. Not bad. Couple of slackers. Get to your wall. Stand by. Up. Oh. Okay, we can do it this time. We can do it this time. Get to your wall. Whatever you got to do, get to your wall. Focus on your sights. Stand by. Stand by. Get your wall. Up. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Stand by. Up. Excellent. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax. During this course, Brittany does go over all of the fundamentals, but one that I definitely wanted to also highlight was follow through. Um, we all see, and I'm sure we've all been guilty of it, especially when shooting videos for the gram uh, of improper follow through. I know that I have. Uh, I'm talking about not assessing, not performing after action drills, uh, and simply bringing the gun back in or just going straight to the holster. This is proper follow through. Now I'm looking at my target. All right, cool. What else is going on? I got ammo. Roger gave me some ammo. I got a round in the chamber. I'm good to go. I don't want to see this. Zero follow through. No sight picture, no prep on the trigger. Waste. What if this guy was shooting at me? What if he's not down? I can't guarantee two rounds are going to put this dude out, right? And we sit on range and we do two rounds, two rounds, two rounds. It's not a guarantee. Okay, all right, sweet. So add that to your, your layers right now, some follow through. Another segment I wanted to share was Brittany's breakdown of speed of shooting and distance. Um, all of us instructors, we all talk about the balance of speed and accuracy, but she takes it a step further in this explanation. Here's the thing with speed. Besides the, follow, the, the uh, lack of follow through that we see on social media and stuff where everyone's bang bang, right? Comes right in. The other thing that I see is a lot of people not applying the speed in which they shoot to the distance that they're shooting at, all right? I cannot shoot the same speed when I'm at three yards as when I am at 20 yards. I can't. JJ Ricasa can't. Frank Proctor can't. All of these fantastic shooters, they understand the balance of speed and distance. Okay, so I want you to take that into consideration and work to find your Goldilocks for distance and speed. Does that make sense? Okay, so stand by, gun. Okay, it was a little bit high. Okay, not bad. I stayed in, fantastic. At the end of the class, Brittany takes the time to go over each student's target individually with them, um, and then they, she provides them with feedback that they can take with them to improve on their own. So in typical fashion, the class ends with a debrief, questions and comments. Okay, so now for my overall thoughts. If you are a new shooter, this is the class for you, 100% without a doubt. Um, the class gets you everything you need to start becoming consciously competent, meaning that you'll now know what to work on and what to do when you're on the range by yourself or in another class. Um, it is definitely a step in the right direction of becoming unconsciously competent, which I think is what we all strive for, uh, meaning that without thinking, you just perform the action that is needed. It's just something that you do, it's innate, it's uh, like muscle memory. If you're someone who has been shooting for a while and maybe never had formal training on the fundamentals or the proper techniques for admin functions like loading or unloading, then this class also is probably for you. Um, even as someone who has been shooting for like two decades now, uh, almost two decades, I learn new things in this class and I'll be using some of her teaching points in my future classes. Lastly, I will go back to the price point, guys. Um, at $150, I think that it's a steal, especially for five hours where a good portion of it is spent getting individualized attention from the instructor and the ROs. Um, some instructors that I've taken classes from, this is their hourly rate. Um, Brittany just charges $150 for the whole five hours. So Brittany's also really good people. She's got a passion and desire to support others in succeeding with their training. Um, guys, she lives this stuff. She's made it one of her goals to help others become more proficient in defending themselves. Um, that's definitely something that I can get behind and promote. If you're looking for some classes to take, definitely check out Brittany and her company, Point Firearms Instruction. Um, I'll also leave a discount code down below uh, in the description of this video to get you 10% off your first class with her. She was nice enough to do that for us, so take advantage of it. Not that you need it, her, the prices are already awesome. So thank you everyone for checking out the video, guys. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. That does help us out. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out our Patreon link down below. 
Patreon members, they get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, they get codes, they get partaking giveaways every month, like all this Magpul stuff that's over here, that's all going to them this month. So stuff like that um, really helps out with the channel with their, uh, their joining our group and that they allow us to create the content that we show you guys all here. So thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video. But for those of you who get out and take a lot of classes, uh, Besides Roger's camera, which is something I don't want to pay for, okay? So don't take the shot. It's the only thing that's right. It's the only thing that's kind of in there. But I won't shoot it. Oh God, I shouldn't say that. Oh, right? oh, oh, it's in my head now. I said okay. I wasn't going to shoot the tape. And... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so.